Congressman Mo Brooks represents the state of Alabama. He was an eyewitness to today's attack right in the middle of it, and he joins us now. Congressman Brooks, thank you for coming on uh, tonight. So set the scene for us. You were practicing, and then what happened? Well, I was on the third base side of a home plate. We had a batting cage, which has a cover on it to prevent foul balls from leaving the field. And I was swinging two or three bats to warm up. I was uh, on deck. Uh, Congressman uh, Rodney Davis was actually hitting a fellow by the name of Will Batson, who's from the Tennessee Valley, my congressional district, graduated from University of North Alabama, was pitching on the mound. And all of a sudden, I hear this loud explosion, a bang. First, I thought it was a car backfire or something of that nature. Right. Turned around, and then I saw the gun. It was a rifle. I saw the barrel. Uh, it's pretty close to the chain link fence, uh, shooting through the holes in the chain link fence. At the time, uh, the shooter was aiming towards shortstop, second base, right field. And it occurred to me that if I could see him, he could see me if he shifted his focus a little bit to his right. Uh, that prompted me to realize I was not, you know, I had a baseball bat. That wasn't going to be very good against a rifle. No. Uh, and I needed to find some kind of cover, so I ran around the batting cage and face first into the uh, ground on the first base side of the batting cage where he couldn't see me but all I had was a plastic uh, shield around the bottom of the batting cage that was oh. preventing him from seeing me. So how long did this go on? I thought it was three to five minutes but I've seen video that is at least six minutes uh, that suggests to me that the entire event was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of six to ten minutes. Um, the number of shots fired uh, at least 50 maybe as many as 100 I'm sure we'll get a report uh, things are happening so fast when you're in that kind of environment, it's very difficult uh, to accurately calculate the passage of time or to keep track of the uh, of number of bullets. Um, at some point, there are about three or four of us lying on the ground near home plate on the first base side of uh, that batting cage where he can't see us, but it's plastic he can shoot through. And it occurred to me, and I imagine it occurred to some of the others, that we would not be in a very good position if the shooter walked around the third base dugout towards home plate, he's on the outside of the fencing, and we'd be lying on the ground with absolutely uh, no defense, uh, 10 to 15 feet away from a, a, a guy with a, with a rifle. So it's, we uh, made the collective decision to sprint into the first base dugout. Fortunately, it's recessed a foot and a half, some two feet, and we were diving in that dugout just as fast as we could. Uh, when I got down there, I, I didn't even remember that it was Jeff Flakes next to me. I was at the far end of the dugout. I was here. Jeff Flake was here. Uh, Zach, who got shot, um, was next to Jeff. And then Coach Roger Williams from Texas, also a congressman, was on his other side. And I, say, I said, Zach, uh, you're hit. And, you know, you've been young, teenager, 20s. We didn't think we were kind of immortal. And he said, oh, it's no big deal. And I went, dude, you've been shot. This is a big deal. Where, where was he shot, Congressman? He was shot in the calf. Apparently, the bullet had, all, had gone all the way through, and he was bleeding. And so I took off my belt and uh, said, look, you've got to have a tourniquet. Uh, reached over there in that direction with the belt. I don't remember, uh, quite frankly, if Jeff took it from me and gave it to Zach. But eventually, um, with the three of us, uh, it got placed on his uh, leg near his knee, and uh, later on, after everything was over with, it looked like he was still wearing that belt to uh, provide a tourniquet uh, to help minimize the the uh, blood loss. That is just remarkable. And very quickly, where was Congressman Scalise during all this? Well, when I ran to get around behind the uh, batting cage, uh, first thing I heard, uh, simultaneous with the first half dozen shots, taking two or three seconds, was active shooter, active shooter, bam, bam, bam. Uh, Steve Scalise yelled something. I don't know if it was shooter or I'm hit, but I, I recognized his voice in that chaos. And then as I'm running around the batting cage, I see Steve on the ground in the second base position on the infield dirt, trying to pull himself on the ground towards right field. Uh. And of course, there's not, there's not much we can do when all we have are baseball bats and gloves and uh, and in baseballs and we're trying to secure ourselves uh, fortunately the shooter did not seem to shoot anymore at Steve Scalise although he did hit one uh, person uh, Matt by yeah. uh, a number of times uh, and one of the other startling moments is I'm on the ground we've got the tourniquet on Zach uh, I'm right next to the exit to the um, 
dug out where there's only one entrance and exit. We've got a 10-foot fence all the way around this place. And if the shooter gets to that exit, we're all boxed in with no place to go. And uh, I'm lying on the ground eating dugout dirt along with some of my uh, comrades. And all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. And it was, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, another shooter. I look up. And it was a Capitol Police officer uh, by the name of David Bailey. And he was using the center block uh, dugout uh, as a defensive position. And it was a tremendous feeling of joy yes. to see a good guy uh, shooting back. It seemed like it took forever to engage. But once the engagement took place, our uh, Capitol Police officers were excellent. They were heroic. And if they had not been there, it could have been a massacre because we were pinned inside uh, what was basically a 10-foot fence. It's unbel I cannot believe you're a U.S. congressman telling me this story, and it's real. The whole thing is, is totally shocking, even now, all these hours later. Congressman, thank you for your account of that. It's amazing. Thank you, Tucker.